Well, howdy. How's it going today? Um, let's see. I'm trying to make this a habit as far as, you know, doing recordings and posting them on YouTube, building up some uh, stuff. The missus likes these, so I think I'm going to continue just so she'll have, you know, I guess video footage of me. And she can listen to me talk, which, you know, she can do while I'm there too. Come on. You, you know you can. Anyway, I think today we might talk a little bit about wrestling and the world of wrestling right now. It's, it's not too bad. It's, at least we have options. There for the longest time, it was WWE was the only game in town, and that was the only thing that you could watch was WWE. Now, luckily, we have you know WWE, NXT, and AEW. AEW is like the other one, and of course, you know I'm not you know I'm not discrediting Impact or Ring of Honor, New Japan, uh, MLW, Major League Wrestling. Then you have like a lot of the local smaller brands, but WWE is not as good as they could be. There are some things that they've got going on that's really good. The women's wrestling in WWE is quite good. Uh, in fact, they've got other than like stardom. And a couple other brands that actually just focus on women's wrestling. WWE's got about the best women's wrestling roster of anybody. T uh, TNA got a great women's roster. I like a lot of the women over there. Uh, AEW isn't even focused on women's wrestling. They don't even care about the women's wrestling, to be honest. And I'll tell you why that is. The reason that they're not focused on the women's wrestling is simply because every every member of the upper management team there is all men, and they're all wrestlers. Like Vince McMahon, when you're the head of that corporate snake, and you tend to want to make the stories about you, which means, therefore you're not going to focus on anybody else's storylines. When you have the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, all them other ones, they want to be the star of the show. Well, when you're when you're wanting to be the top dog, you ain't going to promote anybody underneath of you. They've got the Vince McMahon syndrome going on with their, their uh, writing skills. That doesn't mean there isn't good wrestling. It's just, when you're the main focus of the show, everybody else tends to suffer for it. Uh, which brings me on to, like, they actually have really good wrestlers there. Kenny Omega, Hangman Page, The Bucks, all of them really good wrestlers. Good stories, good wrestlers, entertaining to watch. But they have absolutely one of the best the best wrestlers on the roster. And that's Chris Jericho. Jericho is, to me, if he isn't, he will be one of the greatest of all time. He has reinvented himself so many times. He is the Madonna of wrestling. And that's not a bad thing. That's somebody who keeps recreating themselves to create a longer career for themselves. He is he has done the best of anybody else. He's relevant. He can get over anything. He got a list over for Pete's sake, a list. So, he is absolutely one of the best wrestlers that money could pay for. And I was watching a little bit of Wrestle Talk News before, before leaving the house, which is one of my daily habits. I like 
I like Russell Talk News. I like watching uh, Simon Miller as well. But they were talking about, CM Punk was talking about, they asked him a question about who he thinks the next big star is and out of the WWE. And he, he hit it right on the head. Nobody. Who, who over there is even close to being pushed as a, a star? Nobody. Because Vince McMahon, unfortunately, I mean, give Vince McMahon credit where credit is due. He's been a, a really wonderful, you know, businessman as far as he's created this big worldwide conglomeration of wrestling. And there's been a lot of good stories come out of it. There's been a lot of bad stories come out of it, too, to be honest. It's not, it's not like he's... He's the best writer in the world, or his wrestling's the best in the world. It's just you have the perception that it is. And the bigger problem with Vince McMahon is Vince McMahon has the one person mentality, which means only one person could be champion, only one person needs to be pushed. Well, the reason that WWE is kind of in a trouble bubble right now is because he's been pushing one person this whole time and when that one person is gone or his top stars are not there they don't push anybody else or they scramble and they make some really bad decisions when they're in a when they're in a panic mode they make bad decisions and with the one person mentality that Vince has or the one person mentality that WWE has there can be only one person at the top okay in the women's division it was it wasn't going to be Becky Lynch they didn't want her up there however like Daniel Bryan the people wanted her there so eventually they gave in and made her the top the top dog if you will, and what happened is now that she's out, she got pregnant, she left, they had to scramble. So, they fell back on Charlotte Flair, which, I mean, give Charlotte Flair her due. She's a good wrestler. Nothing wrong with her. I like watching her. But, they started pushing, 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 pushing. Instead of just letting, letting. Vince has got a real bad problem. He wants that, he wants that automatic burst. He doesn't want to slowly move people into a position, let it breathe a little bit, and therefore create a natural top star. He doesn't want he doesn't like naturally created top stars. It's if Vince feels like that's the guy, that's the guy, I want that person in the top. That's what that's what happens. They they absolutely just push the push them to the moon. Roman Reigns was one of those characters. Luckily now I think they finally figured out what to exactly do with him. And I don't think that's Vince's thing. I think that's Paul Heyman's thing. I think Paul Heyman's the one who's pushing the Roman Reigns the way it is. But Vince has a really bad habit of wanting to push people to the damn moon. And the public bucks against it. It happens. You know, Daniel Bryan was one of those cases to where he doesn't like him because he's a little guy. He ain't no big old monster man. So, the people liked him because, well, they liked his personality. They liked how he wrestled. So, the people got behind Daniel Bryan, but Vince wouldn't until Vince really couldn't ignore it anymore. Then they made him a top guy just to ruin him enough to where Vince can move his top guy back into place, which is Brock Lesnar right now. Um... I, I don't know who else, like, currently on the roster that he's really pushing. Keith Lee is a fan favorite, but he's too fat for Vince. Uh, Vince has got a really big thing for big, muscular men. That's kind of what his thing is, big, muscular men. Which, I mean, it does look impressive when you see a big, muscular man with a big belt around his waist and stuff. But you're missing out on a lot of good wrestlers. And storylines because you're only pushing one person. One person is 
a bad thing because if something happens like it has, you're scrambling to make up storylines in order to fix the the slight that you've created on your own self. Well, Charlotte, back to the Charlotte thing. She got, she got injured and now she's out. So they started pushing everything down to Asuka, which Asuka, honestly, the best wrestler in WWE. I'm sorry. She's the most entertaining. She's a good wrestler. And the the I guess the the main rant I would have about Asuka is the fact that WWE has something against anybody who isn't American. And they won't push anybody that isn't really American. Okay, they got Shinsuke Nakamura, one of the best Japanese wrestlers there is. Maybe not the best. I mean, you still got like, you know, Okada and the other guys from New Japan. But the man's super talented in the ring. Cesaro, another foreign person who can actually wrestle, but Vince won't push him. In fact, it's I don't think that's Vince. I think that's Kevin Dunn who's ruined their careers because they're like, well, we can't have them. We can't have Americans lose to them. Why not? If they're better wrestlers, let them win. I don't understand why that's a complicated uh, thought process, but if they're better wrestlers, they got better characters, they've got all that, let them win. They could be your champions. There's nothing wrong with a foreign champion. In fact, there's a bunch of really great wrestling going on around the world right now that isn't WWE. Uh, Vince McMahon thinks he's the only one in the game. He's the he's in, he's living in a little bubble. He's in his own little bubble. So nobody else exists. Well, they kind of do and. Vince ain't seeing that there's room for more than one wrestling promotion. However, I also notice a bad trend where every everybody else is trying to come up with a, a, a wrestling program too. And eventually, it'll get so diluted that nobody will win. Vince McMahon will probably outlast them all unless something happens to him, and I don't know what the company would do after him. Uh, But at least we as fans have got the lucky end of it. We've got choices. We can watch anything we want. AEW, WWE, even the older stuff. If you're a wrestling fan, there is not a shortage of options for you to have. TNA, Ring of Honor, New Japan, uh, CML, AAA. It's a good time to be a wrestling fan. And I say this. You don't necessarily have to support any one wrestling company. But you should support them all in a certain manner. Because the more options we have, the better off we are. And the better off the wrestlers actually are because they have options. If you support TNA, if you support Ring of Honor, guess what? The more you support them, the more money they have to spend on talent. Then the talent out there have an option other than WWE. In fact, a lot of wrestlers are starting to understand that WWE isn't the only game in town, which means they can go and have better contracts. Which means you don't have to wrestle with WWE. Now, that brings me on to another point. The whole, uh, if you're a wrestler for WWE, uh, you need to quit using your third party, uh, uh, third party uh, people without air approval. Hold up. There is a 
legal problem there that if they wanted to, they could sue the crap out of them for it. And here's this. They're contract workers, not employees. Means if it isn't in their original contract about using third party apps or whatever Vince is crying about, which I don't know whether that's from Vince or that's from somebody else, but if it's not in their original contract and you're trying to enforce something like that, that's kind of illegal. Uh, you'd have to renegotiate every contract to where that is part of part of the actual contract that, that people sign. I'm not a lawyer, but if I was the wrestlers, I'd be looking into that. And I'd be like, well, if you're going to renegotiate where we can't make any extra money outside of wrestling, especially in pandemic times, which is what we're in, I would be like, well, you're just going to have to pay me an extra, you know, million dollars a year. We'll, we'll fix that. Oh, it's fine. I don't, I won't use Twitch or Cameo or anything else. You give me an extra million dollars on the year. Hey, we'll consider it done. But Vince is probably feeling a little bit of a uh, little bit of an invincibility since um, since he uh, won that, or since they dismissed the uh, concussion case, which is what they just recently did. Somebody needs to take him to task for this newest thing, though. These wrestlers are trying to make money, and since they can't really travel and make money off of the house circuit. They, they need to really get a hold of a lawyer and take care of the Vince problem on this one because it sounds like to me Vince is trying to control every aspect of the wrestlers' lives and their contractors. I'd be like, well, hire me on as an employee, pay for my uh, medical insurance, give me a retirement plan, we'll be good to go. But he ain't going to do that because them laying off all the workers that they've laid off this year, 2020, they're on they're on the course to be the most profitable year they've ever freaking had. And they're like, well, we can't afford to keep people here. No, you can't afford to fill Vince McMahon, Stephanie, and Triple H's pockets is the bigger problem. I know this has been a little bit of a weird rant, but it's a rant. And uh, it helps keep, you know, the process of me making videos every day moving. Uh, this probably won't be the only time you'll hear me complain about it. This probably won't be the only time we'll talk about it. Uh, maybe next time it'll be some other kind of weird rant or something else to talk about. If you like the content, just let me know. If you want to hear something else, you want to hear my complaints or arguments or positives about thing, the biggest positive I can tell you about wrestling right now is at least we have options. But until next time, try to enjoy the daylight.